It's uh, Chris here today from Huck Owens Equipment. Today we're going to be doing an overview of a BX23S, our last unit in stock, and it's going to be our last one for a few months, so thought we'd get her on film before it disappears. We'll start at the front and work our way to the back, starting with the bucket. So starting up front on these BX23S's, these are your bucket here. Um, you'll see that it comes pre-drilled with holes there for your cutting edge. And then after that it is 50 inches wide and then you can get the either the standard pin on or the optional skid steer quick attach. Most dealerships you're going to see is with the skid steer quick attach as it is quite a bit more popular. After that when you move back is it's called an LA340. So that means it uh, lifts 340 kilos. So about 800 pounds is its overall lift capacity. And then You'll see whenever they came out with uh, 80 series uh, BX's as well as the 23S is uh, the swift hatch. That's how to take on and off your loader. Um, is now a four step process right from your seat. Uh, very easy to do. And we have other videos demonstrating how to do that if you're interested in that. One other thing um, is nice about this unit is it's a one piece hood here, nice metal hood as well as metal fenders. Um, and they have the integrated grill guard out front here. So they've updated the grill guard whenever these dash ones it was uh, a gray color before now we're going with an orange with a little bit of open space here so being all integrated here is uh, you'll see whenever i open this hood um, it does pop all open and, and, and slide all together like that to let you let you get into that engine bay let you do whatever you need to do that way so and sliding a little bit farther back here whenever we get into the operator station here um, you'll see this beautiful high back seat with a few adjustments that's that you're going to be comfortable on. It is an awesome seat that lets you do your work all day long without uh, literally over the old one sliding right off. So, uh, so you'll be comfortable on that. You know, some of the other creature comfort is uh, you have your tilt steering as well as an easy to read dash uh, that has been updated uh, with the dash ones to let uh, more blue light in there to to make it a little bit easier to read that way. Some of the other things uh, that have been upgraded is your grab handles here. Nice and big, easy, uh, you'll love them. Um, again, everything position-wise stay the same over the years, um, just uh, gets a little bit more refined and a bit, little bit easier to grab. And whenever we were talking about that seat here, um, it is nice and easy to, uh, to turn around right from factory here. Uh, as you'll see. Um, and one thing I did forget to mention too is uh, the integrator loader controls into the fender. It makes it a little bit more spacious here um, as it's now been moved back. Um, again, the loader controls have all stayed the same uh, over the predecessors that way. So, so nothing to really focus on there other than into, into the fender that way. So, um, so like I said, uh, seat, easy to switch back and forth. Um, and then after that, the grab handle. Uh, before we used to get a few complaints that it was hard to find or whatever. So uh, it is nicely labeled now to pull up here. So, uh, so you'll enjoy that. And whenever you get talking about this back go back here, it's called a BT603, which means it uh, digs a flat bottom of six foot three. So, so enjoy that. In and around that operator station can be a little bit small. You know, I've sold these units uh, for uh, for people, you know, there's like six foot six right down to five foot four. So they all kind of have the same plane that uh, the legs get a little bit jammed up there. But overall, it is a smaller unit. So it is one thing to adjust to after that. With the back hole, one of the bigger options we sell is a mechanical thumb. It uh, works fantastic. Um, again, if you're going to be grabbing stuff, uh, whether it be brush, stones and everything, uh, it is one thing you'll want on the back there. So, so talking about the tires here, uh, you got uh, a few different choices. You can go with the bar tires as well as the industrial and turf. Um, and then they have the new uh, R14s that are new out this past year, uh, work fantastic, but they are a little bit more money than the standard tires, so be mindful of that. So we did do this uh, in one take, so if I missed anything, please let me know uh, in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.